So essentially what happens with leaky gut or impaired intestinal permeability is that environmental factors or excessive antigen load, remember we talked about antigens being the bad guys, typically, just to keep it simple, a break down the protective barriers, both the, all three, the physical, the chemical, and the immunologic, allowing antigens to pass through those cells. So that allows all of this junk, you know, the toxins, the pathogens, the undigested food particles to enter the bloodstream. And as these, an these antigens enter the bloodstream, the body's immune system recognizes that, hey, those aren't supposed to be there. Those things should be in the gut lumen, they shouldn't be in the bloodstream. So what happens is you start to mount an inflammatory response, and uh, and then you you know the immune system says, hey, that stuff was here. Let's get all of our friends to help us wipe this out. And then you just get signs of systemic inflammation because that inflammation just piles up and cascades into uh, you know affecting different parts of the body. And then eventually, what happens? is your immune system is so overwhelmed because this intestine, intestine, which is not intact anymore, is just constantly being bombarded with junk that was already in the gut and now things that you're eating as well. The immune system just says, you know what, this is ridiculous. I can't keep up anymore. I'm having a hard time figuring out what's supposed to be here and what's not supposed to be there. So you just start attacking everything. And that's where you run into problems with you know, inflammation and autoimmunity is when you lose tolerance or you lose the ability to distinguish right from wrong.